Faithfuls is a man once again, and at number six in my 69 favorite horror films is, of course, Aliens. This time, it's war. Um, I might not do a long one for this one, because I already reviewed the film. In fact, if you look back on my channel, one of the first uploads I have on this cha new channel, just, you know, go to my channel, type on where the uploads are, and, you know, type Aliens Movie Review, you'll find it. It was a dual review I had done with my good friend Efri. And I pretty much had my sentiments on that, but Aliens, what more can I say about Aliens? Most people say it's more of an action film, sci-fi film. Makes sense, but hell, it's aliens. So, I'm going to put in the horror category. Plus, I, I can't make a horror film list and not put this on. It just doesn't feel right. And it deserves to be up there number six, because aliens... It's one of those films that really... I think about how long the film is. It's like, wow, it's that long. And you think about it, it's not wall-to-wall -wall action. There's like two firefights. In a way. But you have, you know, little bits of action that works. But this is just... It works. I mean, Alien vs. Predator... I know that we don't take our time like Aliens. But here's the thing. Aliens. Of course, Ripley. 57 years later. Gets out of her cryo sleep. Oh yeah, your daughter's dead. She got old and died. Um, Paul Reiser birthed the prick. Oh, by the way, you have these colonists. We lost contact. Ripley's like, I'm not going. She gets a nightmare. She goes back. She's with the Marines. Awesome group of characters. LV-426. Newt. Kicking ass. Getting their ass kicked. Vietnam era style. Ripley. Gotta go back in the fucking nest. Fuck up the Alien Queen. Save Newt. Fuck up the Alien Queen even more. Save the day. Then Alien 3, everybody dies. But Aliens... I have no problems with Aliens. I can't think of a bad thing about Aliens. For a number of reasons. Number one, awesome cast. Sigourney Weaver, Michael Bean, I love his hits. I love Michael Bean. I, it's sad he didn't get, you know, more, like, uh, can't think of a certain actor. I, I would love to see him more in these type of films in the lead. I don't know how to put it that way. But uh, Aliens... Yeah, Bill Passes Hudson, either when he's in the special edition, when he talks about all the weapons they have. We got tactical nukes. We got uh, ball breakers. We got knives, sharp sticks. Like, Game over, man. Game over. What we don't do now? What we don't do? Or like, 17 days? We're not to survive 17 hours. This girl survived longer than that. With no training, no weapons. Got that? <laughs> Why don't you just put her in charge? <laughs> Bill Parsons fantastic and as Hudson. And yeah, Jeanette Goldstein as Vasquez, bat total badass. Carrie Hen as new, very likable child after. You did not hate her. She was uh you felt sorry for her. Of course, Sigourney Weaver gave her best performance in this film in my opinion. One of my favorite scores of all time by James Horner. I just, I love the adrenaline pumping. Like, I didn't listen to his stuff before, so maybe that's why if he did it before I didn't hear it. But I love the score he did here, especially the, at the end where you have that piece of score that you hear in like, tons of trailers, especially action movie trailers. You know, I think it's called Bishop's Countdown. If you type in YouTube Bishop's Countdown Aliens, I'm sure someone will upload it. Doom, doom. Bum, 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 bum. I'm do, I do a shitty job of it, but anyway, just type Bishop's Countdown, Aliens, you'll find it. It's awesome. I love the score to death. I love it. I have it on CD. It's one of my favorite scores to a movie, and it just has the action is there. It works. It's well edited. Um, the creatures work well. Stan Winston's team did an excellent job on Alien Queen. Jimmy Cammy does not need to be fucking CGI. I don't give a fuck what the fuck you think, you dumbass. It works perfectly here. Just, you know, and Ripley going back into the nest, rescuing Newt, and the get away from her bitch in the fight scene at the end with the power loader. Just, 
memorable, entertaining, exciting, with good drama. Ripley losing her daughter, but then her, just same as Newt losing her parents, and they sort of have this bond. And even in special edition, like with Hicks, you know, when they give the first names, Ellen, and Hicks goes Dwayne. You know, they too, don't take too long, Ellen. I like that. I like that they add that in special edition. I love that scene. It gives Hicks a final moment. It makes me hate Alien 3 more and more. I remember back in the days, ah, I like it as a standalone. But it, Alien 3 pisses me off more and more and more and more and more. Even watching, especially watching the show on Blu-ray and watching Aliens on Blu-ray again, which looks wonderful, it just pissed me off about Alien 3. Fuck you, Alien 3. Let's just kill everybody. And I hate the, even the special features. Like, the only people who have a problem with it is Hicks. You know, Michael Bean and a little bit of Terry Hinn. But, like, the, no one has a problem with the script idea of killing Hicks and Newt. Like, no one's like, oh, we shouldn't have done that. They don't fucking say that. It's infuriating as a fan. It's like, these people are stupid. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They don't know how to treat their fucking fans. Hey, this is fuck everybody in the book. Alien 3, let's just kill everybody that they love. Fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. Let's just be depressed. What the fuck? But, you know, Aliens did so many things right with the music, the cast, even the weapons with the pulse rifles and the ones on their hips. And, you know, the things where the, you can hear movement that plip, plip, plip. And the, the way the aliens scream when they die, they sort of elephant-type noise. I love that type of scream from the aliens. I love that noise. And the noise of the pulsars. <laughs> aliens is so memorable to me. I even remember noises from the fucking weapons they make. That's how great this movie is. And that's why it's up there number six in my 69 favorite horror films. Because it just, it works. It works on so many levels. As an action film, as a drama, awesome characters, hell, Sigourney so Weaver got a nomination for Best Actress at the Oscars. I love the score, I love Stan Winston's effects, everything works in this film. So, you know, it's not much a review, but what more can I say about Aliens? It deserves to end, the series needed to end with Aliens. No Alien 3, no Alien Resurrection, AVP films are fine. Because they're prequels, really. They're prequels. They're not fucked with aliens and alien. But Alien 3 and Aliens Erection, I hate them more now than fucking AVP 1 and 2. Why? AVP 1 and 2 don't fuck, don't rape aliens. They don't rape it. Because they don't fuck with Ripley and Hicks and you. Alien 3 and the bastard son of it, Alien 4. Alien 3 is a shithead. Alien 4 is the fucking waste of the shit. Because, you know, like... Know where they can do it. They couldn't fix it unless it was fucking dream. Oh, that's stupid. Hey, if it has hits and you coming back, fuck it. But, you know. Anyway, Aliens is a classic, plain and simple. So, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another episode. Later.